Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We will be diving into all of the best small business grants. I have a whole bunch of grants up top here to share with you if you're looking for money for your business during this time. So definitely stay tuned as we dive into all of the grants that I have found available for your business. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, do me a favor, please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't. I'm giving some really, really good information to all of you guys that have signed on with me for PPP and various other things. I really appreciate all of the support and love you have been showing me. And this is why I am giving you guys the real information. My objective in this channel is to help small business owners grow to help anyone that is looking to grow their finances in the future. That is what I am all about. So let's dive right into the meat and potatoes of this video. Small business grants. That's the number one question people ask me when they reach out via email or call is what free money is out there? Well, let's go over some, some uh, misconceptions so that you can get prepared for what a grant really is, okay? A grant is free money. And you know when something's free, it's not easy to obtain, okay? So EDIL is a separate type of grant, and we'll go over that in a later video. But for all of the other grants, here are some things you need to be prepared as a business owner for. Number one, the grant is going to be probably very hard to get. Number two, grants like to give money to existing businesses that already have gotten off the ground. You already have sales, and this money will help propel their uh, purpose of the grant. Uh, the money will help kind of... Uh, propel for the idea that they're giving you the grant for. For example, if they're giving the grant for um, small African-American business owners that are women, then they want to make sure those funds are used on a business that's really going to take off, succeed, and help the community in that sort of way. Also, you're going to need your sales projection figures as well as hard sales data if you're in business. Um, so you're going to have to get someone to get you those financial reports together. You're also going to need... Uh, a business plan that's well thought out, written up professionally. You're gonna need this in your hand. You're gonna need a clear, concise mission statement about what your company's about, where it's going, and what the future plans for your company is. And you're gonna be able to articulate this in writing very, very well, very professionally. And you're also gonna have to be able to articulate this in person. A couple of things I do recommend is number one, if you're not good at speaking, and hear what I'm saying, public speaking is not is not the same thing as you talking day to day. I have taken classes actually um, when I was in college on public speaking. It was very, very helpful. Um, it taught me a lot about how to speak to your audience, how to look and how to sell yourself. Because when you're going for grants, you are a salesman. You're a salesman for your business. You have to sell them that this money belongs to you and not the 500, 5,000 or 500,000 applicants that have applied. So let's wrap our minds around a realistic expectation right out the gate. And if you're a startup business that doesn't have any success behind you, any history of success, it's gonna be that more extremely, uh, very, very difficult, I should say, for you to get the grant money because you are in a startup that you're asking someone to take a chance on you and they have no idea who you are, no history of success with you. So why should they take that chance? That's what you have to start asking yourself so that when you go for these grants, you can understand how you know to uh, communicate and articulate and understand that it's gonna take a process for you to get money. No one's gonna hand you money easily, okay? So let's dive right into what this is. So best small business grants of 2020, really the EIDL and PPP. PPP, even though it says loan, is free forgivable money, people. So if you have not gotten your PPP, if you are struggling to get your PPP, I know a lot of you have reached out to me and you're waiting for me to reach back. I will reach back um, with the Biden changing the new rules. I kind of had to pause because the lender shut down the portal, but we are back up and running at Pyrex Accounting. My team right now is processing loan applications for me to review and submit. So definitely a uh, PPP, whether you go with me, someone else, or you do it yourself, get in the PPP program. Do not give up until you get funded. The next thing is EIDL. Now the EIDL grant is only available to people who got the grant the first time. Unfortunately, I know that sucks if you didn't know about it the first time, but that is how it is. EIDL loan, however, is not a grant and we'll talk about it in another video, okay? 
Then we have the LISC Small Business Relief Grant, the Bar Stool Fund uh, made for your small business contest, and Go Me Small Business Relief Fund. And I also suggest that you start a GoFundMe page. If your business really needs money, then if you can sell your idea, if it's a really good idea, especially if it's an idea that propels the community forward, start a Go Me Fund, get yourself out there and start promoting yourself so that people will give you money. But also Go Me Fund offers a small business grant as well. So let's dive right into what the business grant is. It's money given to a business, uh, local government, private corporation. Um, the money can be, you know, the target for businesses for a variety of factors. The fact that you're minority, the fact that your business is a for-profit specific type of business and nonprofit organizations, veterans, and grants for women and so much more. Okay, so business grants are really out there for people to uh, propel their business forward. I will say that the most common business grants that are really, really out there are for people that are in the technology research and development field. Those people have access to a lot of grants um, because they're they're doing something that's innovative. All right, guys, so let's dive into what these grants are. So the first grant, you've probably seen this somewhere else, but it's the So Gal grant. It's a black founder startup grant. Um, black entrepreneurs will receive less than 0.5% of venture capital funding, which is true. Uh, we will not um, really get into the venture capital funding at all. So they started this foundation. It's it's a really cool foundation um, for you to get in a, a startup grant. To qualify, you must uh, self-identify as a black woman or a black non-binary entrepreneur. A multiracial black woman or multiracial non-binary folks who have a legally registered business plan to seek investor financing in order to scale now or in the future, have a scalable high pack, uh, impact solution or idea with the ambition to the next billion dollar business. So this is really important here. This is where your business plan comes into play. You need to be able to show that this money that they give you will directly impact your business in a way where you can scale your business. You will be able to take these dollars, maximize their use, and definitely scale your business to uh, the next billion dollar business. You need to convince them that your business is worth it, that it will make a lot of money in the future, that you will be able to get investor financing and those sort of things. So um, if you are a founder of venture capitalists, you know, they tell you, you can uh, kind of join the group, but it's not a hard application. However, again, you're going to have to sell your business. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. GoFundMe. Okay. GoFundMe has, what is the small business release initiative? Okay. So as part of the small business release initiative, GoFundMe and Intuit and QuickBooks and GoDaddy have donated to the small business relief fund. You know, they've, they've given money. Um, and supporters can donate as well. And then you can apply for, to receive it. And it tells you, you know, what you need to be eligible. So it'll tell you, uh, make sure, you know, you add the hashtag, uh, you fill out the form, uh, your fundraising story. You need a compelling story, people. When you're trying to get a small business grant, you need that compelling story uh, that is going to make people empathize with your business. That's going to sell people that this is a million dollar idea and that this person is genuine, is valuable. It's not just asking for a handout, but it's asking for help to do something that is going to help the world, help the community or help uh, individuals. So keep that in mind that your fundraising story is probably the single most important thing to sell people on getting a grant. Um, you, you have to raise money from your family and friends. I think they'll match the money that you raise. And this is all going back to that selling. I know people that have done $30,000 GoFundMe pages, okay? I'm serious. But if you don't sell yourself enough for people to believe in you, and, and the people that should believe in you first is family and friends. If you can't get family and friends, let's say I do taxes. If I can't even get my family and friends to sign up with me for tax services, if I can't sell myself to people who already have a connection to me, then it's going to be a lot harder for me to sell myself to people who don't have a connection to me. So practice your salesman pitch. That's what you are. Practice your fundraising story. So you can start this GoFundMe page and get free money matched to you um, and go ahead and, and read upon that. But you can check that out. We're going to move on here to the uh, Shuttered Venue Operators Grant. So if you are a promoter, 
okay? If you are a venue promoter, you you know you promoted bars, musicians, and the clubs, that sort of thing. Um, this is the grant for you. It's on the SBA website, and you can read all about the eligibility requirements for this grant. But they are giving a grant for businesses, and they tell you that it has to be operating uh, for venues eligible for live events that charge a cover charge through ticketing or front door entrance, and not less than 70% of the revenue from the business is generated through this. Um, and one of the principal business activities is making available for purchaser by public average of not less than 60 days before event tickets. So if you are a live event um, space and you're a promoter and you were in that type of industry and you got impacted by COVID and let's say you didn't get PPP, then this is another grant that is just for you that you can apply for. And uh, I would recommend you go and read all about that, okay? Barstool Fund. All right, Barstool has created a fund in support of the 30-day to help businesses survive. If you'd like to get financial assistance, apply below. So you can submit your business here to Barstool. Barstool um, will walk you through, you know, really easily what is your contact information, what is your last name, all about your business. So you can go check them out as well. Uh, they are definitely geared towards uh, giving a grant to the service industry. So definitely go check them out. Um, okay. So here we are with the FedEx grant. So a chance to win 50000 for your business. The storytelling of your small business is worth one telling. Let me tell you something. I told you again, your business plan as well as your fundraising story about your business will draw people in. You need to be a salesman. I can't stress that enough. You have to write a short profile of your business. And let me tell you something, before you start to go for these grants and you get denied, if you are not good at writing, then you have two choices, okay? You can hire someone to help you professionally write a business story that you can tell over and over again. You can yourself learn how to write a business story professionally that there are keywords, there are triggers, there are phrases that will pull people in to kind of set you apart. There are grant writers out there that will help you be able to get these grants. So you can either spend money to have someone help you or you can learn how to do it yourself, but do not just apply for these grants without doing some sort of professional research so that you actually have a real chance to get these grants. But yes, FedEx is giving you a chance for $50,000. Um, you can set yourself apart. I know it feels like, oh, it's a lottery, but you know what? You may be the business they choose. So you don't know until you try. This is going on um, until today. It ends today. So I'm putting this out. So if you want to go for this and you have everything there, you even can create an optional YouTube video on your business and its mission. I mean, they, they, you know, this is not hard to do. You just have to be ready. And if you're a business owner and you're saying, I'm ready to get grants, then I would run over here today. Uh, it's five steps. Go ahead um, and sign up. For All right. So NASE, the National Association for Self-Employed, you could receive up to $4,000 for your small business through this grants program, okay? So go on their website. They kind of give you eligibility requirements. Uh, monthly members uh, may apply 90 days after joining. So yes, you do have to get in the membership. However, they offer a lot of great resources with their membership. And that's something to think about as well when you're a small business owner joining your chamber of commerce, but also joining associations like this so that you have access not only to grant money, but also to uh, resources of other business owners, other service types, other grant writers, um, and things like that. They also have scholarship programs, but you have to uh, be a member. But guess what? This, this sort of membership can help you with the right connections, the right information that you may not know. So this is definitely a grant to check out. So Caleb Brown Venture Capital LLC. Here's another grant. How do I apply for business grant? It's a simple process. Uh, so this grant is available for small business owners. Um, you can go on their website and click below. We understand it takes money to build your dream. So hopefully this initial seed money can be used to start up your business journey. So here's the information right here, guys. I'm giving it to you. I'm giving you, uh, they'll have the grant criteria here. Uh, for you if we kind of click on it and see what is their criteria for getting this grant. I know this video uh, is a little bit uh, long, but I'm trying to give you that real info. So if you're taking notes, take notes because all of these grants are real and they will help your business um, in the future. 
So they give you the background of the company. The mission is to help promote young uh, urban entrepreneurs with a vision who understands that small business creation is a key component to rebuild local blocks, neighborhoods, and communities. Again, that's their mission. So what's your company's mission? To sell them that they should give you the grant. And the grant is a monetary gift up to $1,000. And uh, all you have to do is kind of go through the um, applications and get the money. Let me tell you something. You can get 10, 20 grants. I mean, grant money is out there. You just have to do the work to find it. All right, the Hellstead Grant. So this is for people who uh, do jewelry. So if you are a jewelry artist, um, they would love to hear from you. They give up to $7,500 to help you. Uh, with your jewelry business. So if this applies to you, this is another great one. All right. So Department of Defense, the DOD, the Pentagon. All right. They give grants. Okay. And their mission is to provide military forces for our country, but they also provide grants to small business owners. Um, this grant is uh, to award scholarships to U.S. undergraduates, um, as well as grants to U.S. institutions of higher education. Um, but they also award grants, uh, if you go like deeper into their website, they also award grants to people that are innovative with national security. I know that won't be a lot of you, but if you have some sort of invention or something that will help with national security, um, NASA is another one down here as well. NASA, if you have anything dealing with technology, research and development, um, NASA does give grants as well. So if you go to grants.gov, these places give grants, but it's a very specialized field. So if you're very, very um, in the tech world and you've got something that NASA or the DOD would be of interest in, they do give grants to help fund. All right, let's dive into women's.net. Uh, so March 2021, the application cuts off in 22 days and 13 hours. You can apply for $25,000. It's an AMBER grant for women. Okay, so how do you apply? The application it simply takes a few minutes. Tell us about yourself and your business dream. No long, complicated forms. We announce the winner grants on the 20th of every month. Listen, guys, this is the part where you're what? A salesperson. You have to sell yourself, set yourself apart, and be professional and articulate. And let me tell you something. Just as people may come to me and pay me for accounting services or taxes or PPP application assistance, whatever, find a grant writer. People, as a business owner, you have to understand something. You can't do everything yourself. And you can't be poor for your business, meaning it takes money to make money. I'm being honest with you. I have several people that are, are a team around me that help me do things because I focus on the accounting piece. That's my job. But however, I do and have applied for grants, okay? And I actually have a grant writer. So I actually have to pay someone to do this because this is not my field. This is not my specialty. I do know how to write grants and I do know how to write business proposals. However, do I have the time? No. Do I have the ability to research every grant and the, the applications and how? I don't. So that's why sometimes if you're a business owner and you're busy growing the business, you have to put a little bit of money because it will help and see a return in the future. My grant writer has gotten me about $50,000 to date from my firm. I know it's not a lot of money because I don't go after a lot of grants, but about $50,000 from my community over the 10 years I've been in business in grant money for my firm. It is worth it to hire someone to get you the grant money. Um, so I would look up grant writers in your area, look up someone reputable. And if you want to do it yourself, then you're going to have to do a lot of research and spend a lot of time to get these grants because you got to set yourself apart from every other person that's applying. So it's not always so easy to get. All right, guys. So if you are a nonprofit, um, this is for you. Um, so go on this website, Grant Watch. And they have grants for nonprofits, um, grants in their database, grants for individuals, grants for small businesses. Go on their page, check these guys out. They have lots of grants for all kind of stuff, state specific, um, all kind of things. So I would definitely go here and do your research and check them out. I'm pointing you guys in the right direction. Now, Grant Watch is a subscription program. So even if you have to pay, it gives you access to all of these grants out here. So yes, you go to plans and pricing, see how much their plans and pricing is, but it's worth it because they make it very, very easy to apply. They have grant training. Um, 
grant writer access. So you, you get all this good information. So I just want you to know that I, I think this is a great tool for a lot of people to do. You get access to grant writers. Pay the subscription, guys, because let me tell you something. If you're out here really trying to find free money, if that's really your goal, then you're going to have to do the legwork. So go out here and find uh, all of that good information from them. All right, guys. So coming back to the where we were, just to go through a recap of everything we looked at as well as um, NAV had most of the ones I had already found, but this is just going through a list um, of the uh, grants. You know, this one bridges the gap between government agencies and capital businesses. So there you go. Barstool Fund, we talked about. Go Me Fund, we talked about. Um, FedEx, we talked about. Um, National Association for the Self-Employed, we talked about. We didn't talk about street shares, but veterans have some good grants out there. Um, NAV itself has Legitify Your Small Business. They offer $10,000 themselves to help solve a small business problem to take their business to the next level. So if your business helps solve a problem, they'll give you money for that. Um, good for Community Businesses. This is Young Entrepreneurs Grant. Um, the Jewelry Award we talked about. Um, so I'm just kind of scrolling through, you know, you can visit their website and kind of find all of these grants, um, that are out there. And, uh, if you're in the planning stages of your business, so this one, the Amber grant, remember we talked about female entrepreneurs went up to 25,000. This is a good for startups right here. This is your number one for startups right there. Grants.gov, but however, grants.gov, mind the fact that if you go on there, a lot of it's for existing businesses and you have to have a really, um, technological, medical type of research field. A lot of them are. They're not really for starting a business. They're more for existing businesses. Um, so you have to prove that you have some sort of success history and you just need help. So um, nonprofit, um, all those good things. And, you know, it goes into how to apply for a small. So this is just really quickly. You need the time and business number of employees, your monthly annual revenue, how the funds will be used. This is really important. They want to see a well laid out plan. What do you plan to do if you get this 25000 What do you plan to do if you get the 5000 or the $1,000? They want to make sure that these funds will be used in the best way possible. Um, you've got to have your elevator pitch, you know, you've got to have your social media handles already. You need LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you and your business should be everywhere before you even start applying for grants. You need your business plan, a photo of you. Here you go. If you don't, and that's another thing I didn't touch on. If you don't have a professional photo of yourself, get a headshot. Get it's it's time to move yourself to the next level if you're really stepping up and talking about getting business grants. So get a professional photo of yourself and get a well professional business plan um, thought out. Here we go. Another thing that people don't tell you. So this is the end of the video, and I hope you're still watching. Grants are taxable income. Okay, they are taxable income. If you do not file your business at tax time, do not apply for grants. You have to not only adhere to the grants rules, but they are taxable income. You do pay interest on loans. Grants are free money. However, even a low interest loan comes at a cost. So keep that in mind. Grants are free money, but you also have, you know, low interest loans you can choose to get as well. Grants won't help build your business credit. Okay. So they don't help do that. They are direct competition. Loans aren't. So grants you have to compete to get loans are based upon credit history. Loans can come with consequences versus grants. Are there any downsides? Um, you know, they kind of go over some of the downsides, but we already kind of talked about them. So it's really, really good uh, to kind of go through this and read on your own. My best advice to you is get yourself prepared. Do these eight steps and get yourself prepared. Have a professional looking website, a professional looking social media presence, a professional looking business plan, a photo of yourself, and have your elevator pitch written professionally because this is what's gonna make or break you getting free money, okay? If you guys have any questions about anything mentioned in this video, please leave it in the comments below. And also please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps promote and get the word out for other people looking for these grants, okay? You guys have a good one.